What's up, y'all? So I'm back. So, as you can see, we got two HP laptops. I was trying to figure out which one I'm gonna choose. So it's this was tough, man. So let me get started. On the left, we have the HP 14 inch comes with Windows 11. That's Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. Um, yeah, that's really about it. This one is not full high definition, but the display is um, HD. So that's like 1366 um, or something like that by 738. You know, but it say that the LED display is 250 nits. Um, if you want this laptop, the model number is 14-DQ2078WM. Like I told you before, these HP laptops, they come with these model numbers. So it's crazy. All of them look the same, but they're not the same. On my right side, we got the HP 15.6 4 high definition laptop, Intel Core i3, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. This one does have the fingerprint reader. Um, and that's really about it. Both of them come to Windows 11. If, if it didn't, you can update it. On the left side, right, the HP 14 uh, inch. I love the size. You know, I love the size. The only beef with, with that laptop is, um, you know, just the display. This one does have a little graphics card. So you can play certain intense games. Not a, like, cause I try to run, you know, like I said, Battlefield, that was laggy. The Horizon, I think I, I was trying to play that game too. That was a little laggy as well. Uh, what else? I think Madden. I was trying to download, I think I played Madden on this one. That was a little laggy on that one too as well. Um, Star Wars, it was laggy as well too. So, you know, it's just certain game, but Killer Instincts ran smooth. Try to download Motor Combat to see if that worked pretty decent. Yeah, uh, man, one thing, like I said, with the trackpad, it's a little clicky. Like, you know, it feels, you know, I feel, I feel like it, you know, I mean, it's cool. I feel like it's broken, but it's not, but it's all right. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let me start showing you everything. Like I said, it's real light as well. So you got your HDMI right here. You got your um the power adapter goes right here. USB ports right here. USB Type C and the headphone jack. I like everything that's on the right side of it. If you got a digital camera or DSLR camera, you go pop in your SD card right there. So that's real nice as well. To the speakers on top. Speakers is loud. Um, like I said, I'm just going to run, run through everything. I'm just, you know, just going to run through everything though. Graphics card, like I said, but this one is fast. It's nice. Now on a 15 inch, it does have a little bit more weight to it, I guess, because, you know, it's so bigger. Um, this one right here, like the trackpad on this one is way better. You can barely hear it clicking, but I like this one because it's real like, is intact, you know what I mean? It's not really kind of like loose over there like that one. Um, this number pad over here, that's I don't like this new because I ain't even going to use this. You know, the fingerprint reader does work pretty decent. Um, I was about to see. Let me see. Yeah, that, well, like I said, you know, it does work pretty fast. Um, over here, you got the HDMI, USB Type-C right there. You can pop in your SD card. And you got two uh, USB ports right here, and you got the power adapter. And uh, both both cameras, web cameras, are 720. Um, your iPhone or Samsung or, or Pixel phone or whatever is going to look better than that if you're trying to video chat or anything like that. So I'm just letting you you know, offhand. But it's kind of cool, like... If you just want to record, because I just, I put a video up, it looked terrible though, but it just, I like it because I can just get straight to the point, you know, <laughs> like I can just record something and don't go, you know, worrying about uh, doing it from the phone, it might take a long time or, you know, dragging the files over and things like that. Um, let, me, let me get you out to these prices though. Now, the HP 14 inch is $399, so that came to like four or something. And uh 15 inch uh three is three seventy-nine. So it's really it's really only like a couple dollars different. And to tell you the truth, I couldn't like I'm so confused. I I don't even know really. But 
Fars on this one, I like this one more because it just, it feels, you know, way better. I'm talking about like when I'm texting and everything, it's just, you know, like, cause I got, I got my, when I get my hands right here, just everything feel a little bit more better, man. You know, as far as when I'm texting and doing stuff and coming over to this side, you know, it's still right. It's still right here, but look how much space I still got over all the way over there. It's like, that's just, I don't really like all that, you know, like. Cause now, like when I'm doing this, my fingers is going to drag over. And I, a lot of times, I'll be hitting the little stuff over here. Yeah, I'm opening up stuff didn't even want to open it. But both of these does don't have a backlit keyboard. They both are 11 generation, by the way. Um, but I I do like I said I do like that. As you can see, that didn't take too long to um. Let me do that again. Let's let me see if we can do both at the same time. I don't know. Let me see the Sony Vegas. See if they. I don't know if both of them will pop up, but, you know, um, yeah, and like that, that's what I'm saying, like, and as y'all can see on the right side, this is the Intel iCore 3, like, it's been running smooth and it's fast, though, that's what I'm surprised about, you know, I'm real surprised, man, like, I don't know, dog, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I know it's real confused, I sound confused, I don't know, it's making me, it's making me about to get like a 14 inch HP Intel i3 because they a little they be they a little cheaper. I might can get something like three hundred dollars, two ninety nine or something like that. You know, it just depends. But um, and both of these got the same storage, same RAM, same storage. So when it comes down to it, it's really gonna come down to your size. Like I said, this one is a little lighter, especially for business, business or school work or anything like that. That's what I like. Like, all right, I'm going to go. I got to edit it or something like that. Sit down. Boom, boom, boom. This one is cool, too, but it does have a little weight to it because it's a little bigger. You know? Um, But, man, I couldn't even tell y'all which one to choose. It's, it's a real tough one. But um, if you're going by size, you want to go with the 14-inch right there. Now, if you want the fingerprint reader, and that's really about it. The only difference... It's going to be the fingerprint reader and the full high definition screen. And it's just, let me see, there's two on that one over there. And that's really about it. Everything is on the right side of this, like how I like it. And um, this one is just, everything is mostly on the left side. Well, they're on both sides, you know what I mean? But yeah, y'all leave a comment and tell me which one would y'all get, would y'all choose. I didn't want to make this video too damn long. But like I said, for the price, both of them is good. Now, like I said, I was scared at first too when it comes to Intel Core i3. But when you think about it, you know, it actually tells you a lot of that stuff too, man. Like it's for casual gaming. You know, you could do this with it for a little bit of editing. You know, you might edit some pictures and, and things like this. And today is Wednesday, so I was watching um, AEW Wrestling on Sling. You know, everything was just smooth. Yo, YouTube plays smooth. I could, I could watch the 4K videos, um, the 8K videos. Everything was just real smooth with them, both of them, you know. So I don't have no complaints, but I couldn't even really choose one to tell you offhand. But if I was, you know, it's going to go down to the, because I told y'all before, I don't even like big uh, phones. So it's going to come down to like the 14-inch um, HP right there. I'm not really worried about, like I said, the fingerprint reader. And that extra number pad, you know, that stuff over in the corner. Like, I'm not, because I ain't going to use none of that. But both speakers are loud. I like everything on the right side and all that. So, I might be keeping the 14-inch and taking the, um, the Intel i3 back. But like I said, I might just take both of them back and really just start looking. You know, I might play around with two more um, Intel i3 computers. I don't know, though. You know, but not even two more because this is already 15-inch. But I might see if they got a 14 inch one or I try to play around with that one. And one, they got a Ryzen 3 as well, too. Also, too, on Walmart, this was bestseller. Now I understand why. You know, <laughs> like, like this was like if you go on Walmart and look down and scroll down with the laptops and HPs, this one says bestseller. And if, like I said, if, if you go to school or somebody looking at this as a parent or you, you know, college or. You know, just really just in the house. I don't got no TV. If you just want to watch your movies and, you know, use this as your TV and things like that. Especially if you got a game because this got full high definition. So you got the HDMI cord. And that's what I'm saying. You plug your little Xbox 
or something and put that on top of that, you in the works. You in there. And that's what I was kind of thinking about it too, just, you know, but um, I'm going to play around with him some more tonight and uh, it's going to come down to whatever. I don't know, but I like both of them. So I didn't want to really take too long with this. Apologize because I'm always long with the videos, but it's just so tough, man. I was like, damn, you know, <laughs> like, because you don't know which one to get because both of them is in a good price range, you know, and um, so that it is what it is, man. So I'm going to tell you all one more time and so I can end this on my right side. Like I said, by the way, is um, the model number is 15 dash D Y two one three one W M. That's for the um, 15, that's on my right side. That's in, Intel Core i3, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, 8 gigabytes of RAM, full high-definition screen, um, and got and they have the fingerprint reader. Like I said, everything about that laptop is nice, it's smooth, it's not slow, no hiccups or nothing like that. And the only time, like I said, it might be a little hiccups, maybe because, like, my damn internet, you know, but if you got like Verizon or something like that, strictly super duper fast, everything's gonna be playing quick. But as far as opening up apps and things like that, and no, like it's, it's, I'm telling y'all, man, it's, it's, it's lovely. Now, um, on my left side again is this HP 14 inch. The model number is 14 DQ 2078 WM. That's Intel Core i5, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And um, this one is a HD HD display. It's not that bad, you know. Like even when you're looking at them now, both of them are high brightness, I believe. So, but this one, um, a lot of times be looking like a little washed out. Not this one, but on the right side right here. So if I turn that one off, you know, what I mean, you can see the difference a little bit. As far as like how the colors look on on this one, look a little better. But both of them, both of them is up. And I noticed that too. I was looking at him like at, for a certain angle, and I'm like, damn. I don't know if y'all can really tell like that, but from a certain angle, I'm like, damn. Why the the 14 inch look a little better? And that's just HD, so it could be a big color factor and, and things like that. But y'all leave a comment and tell me which one would y'all choose, or do y'all have an HP laptop? Like I said, I like the keyboards. You know, I like the HP keyboards. They they real clicky. And most sometimes they remind me of like just the computers I was in on when I was in school and things like that. I really like a lot of the other laptops I be saying they keyboard I mean like their keyboards and their numbers just be like real in like that. Not saying that's a bad thing, but I just don't like that. You know, um I just don't I need mine to spring back a little bit. Alright, your boy Tutter. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace. What's up y'all? Also the battery life is pretty decent on these. Um 45 watt charger. Uh, it charges pretty fast. The battery life is okay. It just depends on what you're going to be doing. Like if you do your gaming or watching your movies and stuff like that. You can choose, you know, to put it on right here. Balance, best power, or best performance. You know, just whatever you want to put it on as far as what you're doing at the time frame. But other than that, like I said, it charges pretty decent. 45 watt charge. They do, they do have laptops that got like 65 watt charging. It charges a little bit quicker than this and things like that. So, you know, it just depends on how fast you want things to get back to where it need to be. You know what I mean? And because everything is fast now. So, but as far as the battery life on these, they, they, they okay, man. It's not the best, but they okay. You know, as long as you got your charger with your shit, ain't nothing to complain about or cry about. You know, it is what it is. Just like your normal laptop.